Hey everybody, welcome back. You're getting ready to join us on an episode of Forza Horizon 5. We're going to show you our top 10 favorite American cars. Ecto, give them a little explanation about it. So what Ash is saying is we're going to take our top 10 favorite cars from the U.S. Uh, that we've already built. It could be a 7, 8, 900, and uh, it's just the ones that we love the most. So if you like what you see, leave a comment for that car, and we'll give you the tune code. Yep. All right, so for my number 10, I got to go with the 2010 Forsenberg Toyota Camry stock car. And what more can I say than Ricky Bobby, baby? That's right. I like that. For my number 10, I actually ended up going with the 2017 Ford Focus RS. Just a light little average car that you can win most races in. Okay, so my number 9 is the 1987 Firebird Trans Am GTA. It's just, it's a whole lot of horsepower. All the horsepower. See, for me, I, I'm back with the uh, another balanced one in the 1956 Ford F100. We built those things together when we first started it, and I fell in love with it back then. Nice choice. Yes, I love it. All right, so for my number eight, I had to go with the 1968 Mustang GT Fastback 2 Plus 2 because that is near and dear to my heart with me and my dad both having Mustang Fastbacks some of the same year. So say they look pretty close to the same. Well, for that one being said, mine's actually the 1970 Buick GSX, and I did not drive that with my dad. We built those together on this game, and actually, it's just such a perfect balanced car for an American muscle. All right, so for my number seven, I had to go with the 2000 Mustang Cobra R. Uh, for me, when I built this car, it's one of the best sounding cars in the game, because you can just hear that cam. Yeah, I like that. And speaking of the best sounding cars in the game, I actually built the 2010 Lexus LFA for my seventh car. And I love it just because it sounds wonderful. Number six, I went with the Cadillac XTS limousine. It's way underrated. The numbers do not do any justice for that car. I will agree. I will wholeheartedly agree. I actually went with the uh, 1965 Shelby Daytona. One of the first cars in this game I ever built. And I just, it, it's an old homie, man. I got to keep him. I've lost many races to that car. Yes, you have. <laughs> so for number five, I went with the 2015 Z28 Camaro. And this car would not be typically my favorite, but I built it as an asphalt car. And I know Ash can agree. The thing is a monster. It's evil. <laughs> and it hurts you in the corners. Speaking of evil and hurts you in the corner, I actually, for my number five, is my Rivian R1T. It used to be higher on the list, but it's a, it's a mean machine when it comes to a dirt track, and Ecto can probably contest that, too. I can vouch for that, yeah. So, for number four, I had to go with the 2020 Mustang Shelby GT500. That is one badass dirt car. I love it. It's, it's good all around, but... It, it dominates on dirt. That's a good car. And that's uh, dominating on dirt's the one reason why I picked the 2013 777 Corvette. It's a formula drift car that turned into the most beautiful dirt car that's 1,000 horsepower. It, I love it so much. There's usually a curse word on the screen when I see it in a car. Every time. Every time. All right. So for my number three, I had to go with the 1970 Mercury Cyclone. That's a car very near and dear to me. A good friend of mine who passed away a few years back, he uh, he sponsored my race car for several years, and he raced a car just like this back in the day. And so I put his number on it. You know, it's the best way to pay homage to him. And uh, well, you've done Jack a good service because I've lost that dang car many races. But talking about cars built for friends, uh, my actually is the 1973 Pontiac Trans Am with the 455 big block in it, and. Uh, buddy of ours that we played this game with talked me into building it one night and I secretly don't ever want to tell him it's one of my favorite cars in the whole game. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so Ash has already said this vehicle, but for my number two is the 2022 R1T Rivian. That thing is just all balls, man. I mean, what more can you say? It's pure power and pure acceleration. You can mess up and still win. Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, another forgiving one, and you mentioned it earlier, but the 2020 Shelby GT500. So good. Yeah, it was one of the first cars that I ever considered like truly broken in the game. 
And, uh, yeah, it's been an old friend for a long time, so he had to get silver. Moving on. All right, number one. I have to go with the 2018 Saline S1. This thing is like Ash's, Ash's horn. Mo power, baby. But when it comes to a 900, anything goes, 90% of the time, this is my go-to. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've raced that car a lot. But speaking about Mo power, baby, my 2023 Lucid Air Sapphire and its 1,400 horsepower glory is a good playmate for that S1, and they played a lot. Yes, they have. All right, so that was our personal top 10 favorite U.S.-made vehicles in Forza Horizon 5. So let us know in the comments what your favorite vehicles are U.S.-made. And uh, if you like one of ours and you want the tune, let us know, and we'll put it in the comments. All right, till next time, guys. We'll see you. Till next time. All right, later.